Hello everyone, my name is Mike from the support team here at Clipfolio. In part one of this series, you saw me create a dynamic data source, including a dynamic bar chart where you're able to switch between uh, different dropdown items to choose different profile IDs inside Google Analytics. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can combine all the profile IDs using the map plot function to loop through and show the combined totals of all the data. So first things first is we're gonna to go to the data sources menu. And again, this assumes you followed along in part one and have already created your dynamic data source. So we're gonna click on the dynamic data source here and select create a clip. And we're gonna drag in the bar and line chart component. And we're also going to add in our profile ID data source. So now we have our dynamic data source here and our list of profile IDs and profiles. So for the X axis, we're going to select the date column. And again, we're going to make this into a more readable format. So we're gonna switch the display format into month, day, and year. And we'll call this eight. And then for our series, we're gonna rename this users. We're gonna add a couple more series. Name this one page views, and we'll name this one sessions. Now, first things first for our dates, we're gonna leverage the map flat function. Now, when you wanna combine all the data in a dynamic data source, all the profiles, we're gonna use the map flat function uh, in every location. So both in the series and the X axis. So what this does is it actually loops through the various profile IDs that you have and combines them all in a, in a formula. So you see here, uh, we're gonna want our values. So these will be our profile IDs, our variable name, and this will be the same variable that we used in our dynamic data source. And then the formula that, that we wanna use to display that data. So in this case, we wanna go to our profile IDs, Select that, insert our variable name in quotes, which is profile ID, and then we have our dates. Now we're gonna to wanna to just copy and paste this, since again, we're gonna put this in every single series, except instead of the dates here, obviously, we will put our page views, sessions and our users now what this will do is it'll iterate through each of our profile IDs and display all of them out all the data combined so we'll go back and just click on the x-axis here and we'll want to group the dates And lastly, we'll just want to filter out our blank values. So right click on the X axis, click on filter, deselect everything, select our blank value and exclude it, and then click on filter. If you want, you can change the formatting of the dates in the X axis here. I like to switch this to auto. This will be able to fit more dates in your x-axis. You can also drag this out to make it look a little more readable. And then we can save this. Give it a name. Share it if you'd like. And then we have our clip. Now we'll go back to our dashboard 
we have our drop down dynamic source here. And we can just go ahead and add our combined data. And that's it. You'll notice now, for example, on January 2nd, for just our support page, we have 2711 views. Now we have a combined value of 316,000. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for another video and more tips and tricks.